Right, let's have a look at Shadow Swallow from Metallica 72 singles album today, and it's in E standard. And the intro riff. most of it but uh, yeah what we do it there at the end of the like uh, the last line and uh, the first line sorry it's basically this little quick pull off hammer on from six to open E to back to six again right so like kind of like that uh, I mean other than that I think you have to know that much more uh, maybe in the second bar in the second line you have this other Quick uh, pull off and hammer on from 7 to 6 to 7 on A. Like this, right? Like that. And that's kind of, uh, that'll be it, I think, for the intro. And no more explanations needed, I think. Then we come to slide 2. First line, I'm gonna play it four times, but uh, basically, this melo uh, that melody that starts at the end of the first bar is gonna be like kind of like that, right? Uh, so, when you play this, um, if you look at the middle of the second bar, you have an open E and then go to first fret on A, and when you do that, you know, mute the E string right as you strike the A string, okay, so you don't have this so you don't have both strings sounding because that will be, you know you're gonna get that sound and that's not good, so you're gonna I, I mute it with, actually with my index finger uh, as I place it on the A string, I also mute the E string with the, you know, with the part of my finger basically, so so that's just gonna be like kind of like that, right? So then you don't hear the E, uh, e string. Right? So you don't want anything like that, right? You don't, you don't want that, you want this kind of sound. Uh, right. <coughs> and then <coughs> some line verse riff. this four times so yeah it's straightforward right and slide three uh, the first line is the same as on the previous slide basically so you play it twice <coughs> and then you have the first uh, riff again um, just as before in the second line uh, and you play it twice okay and then on slide four we're gonna have a chorus riff <laughs> I think it's pretty straightforward as well, so I'm not gonna go through that. Um, and after this slide, you're gonna go back to slide three, uh, play the whole slide three again, and uh, then you're gonna come here, play it, play the whole slide four, and after that, you're gonna go to slide five. All right. So basically, repeat slides three and four, and then go to slide five, which is here. <laughs> break riff in the second line so that's 
play just the first riff in the second line, the first two bars, alright? You're gonna play your four times. And the following bars. This riff, right? And um, yeah, at the end of that uh, line, uh, I played like this basically. Um, I spread my fingers like that, but um, I think it was going like like this. Uh, personal preference, I like it like this. But I don't have to move my hand too much. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's uh, that uh, first uh, couple of riffs of the break. Then in style 6 we're going to enter those melodic uh, patterns and uh, so those melodies are going to play over the, uh, over the um, riffs in bars for the uh, for the 8 to 51, right, on the previous slide. Basically it's going to be... Line, but here, right? Um, in the third bar at the beginning, there I basically slide from eighth fret to seventh fret with my pinky, and then I can kind of switch back to a ring finger on that same fret after that. And I actually don't know, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, that's how I prefer to play anyway. And in the second line, similar idea, but you basically play one f uh, fifth, uh, perfect fifth interval higher up. So here, starting a seventh fret on D, right. So at the end of that uh, line, you have. Uh, a bend on the 9th fret on G, instead of playing, you know, like this, you're gonna play this. So that's like the only unique ending to that riff. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, and then for the side 7, we have the solo riff. So we're gonna have this old riff played 8 times, basically, and the solo will kick in at the 5th repetition of this riff. Right, and then in the second line, right. So I hope you noted the fourth tending is a bit different instead of you're gonna have here going to the first fret power chord. And uh, <coughs> if you notice in the second bar, um, when we played that riff before, we actually had this first hammer on from open E to third fret on E at the fourth beat in the first bar, but now we're gonna actually play it on the first beat in the second bar. So that final note of that riff, that one here, is only a quarter note now, right? Okay, so yeah, so it is a little different uh, rhythmic phrasing of that riff now. Eh? All right, so don't forget that it's a bit different now. Uh, and then slide eight, we continue with the uh, here. play through this on your own but just to clarify the fourth bar when you have those octave shapes basically you know hold the bottom note with your index finger and top note with your pinky and the mute D 
the A string with the underside of your index finger, so kind of you know like this. And then has Tino strike. Straight up across those three bass strings basically. Alright. Then slide nine we continue, kind of we're gonna end this riff now. Slide 10, we go back to the the chorus, and yeah, the chorus riff is the same as before, so I'm gonna play through this again, right? Yes, you know, old chorus riff here on slide 10, and then we continue through to slide 9. Um, so here, um, you're gonna have this first ending of the chorus. At like this, right? So it's a bit of a different ending you now, uh, so make sure you get this right. And after this first ending, go back to slide 10, oh yeah, repeat the, the chorus again. And uh, then you go back to here, slide 11, uh, and you play the first two bars in the first line, and then you go to the second ending in the second line, okay? <laughs> So in that second ending, in the second line, right after this, those first three chords, you can count three quiet beats in your head when you don't play anything, and then you continue with this. Alright? So that's that, and then slide 12, the ending. riff and then you re repeat it one more time and the final slide goes like this and that's Shadow Swallow Metallica have fun with that guys